This is a LexisNexis video tutorial. Overview of LexisNexis Academic. LexisNexis Academic is a great tool to use for news, business, or legal research. With a content collection of over 15,000 sources, LexisNexis Academic will absolutely be your go-to resource for your information needs. This is the main page of Academic, and hopefully the first thing you notice on the page is this large single search box. But before we get to the search functionality, let me show you around the main page. First, notice this toolbar on the left. These are all external resources for the Academic product. There's what's new for product functionality enhancement information, research guides for articles that will help you complete specific tasks, a link especially for librarians to download our A to Z content list, and a link to our Academic Knowledge Center that will provide you with all of the academic help, guides, and tutorials we have to offer. Lastly, here's a link to our YouTube channel, which is potentially how you got here in the first place. Also, you will notice this bank of Hot Topics links. These links will run quick, one-click searches for information on popular and newsworthy topics. These update as news happens, so they're a great place to start your research. Also, see this logo at the top of the screen? You can click this anytime to navigate right back to this home page. Now, let's talk about searching. LexisNexis has a customized interface, so it's easy enough for beginners and sophisticated enough to meet the needs of the most experienced researchers. The main page gives you two great searching options. First, for beginners or for just quick searches, you have your big academic search box, which is a combined content search. This wonderful broad search covers newspapers, federal and state cases, company profiles, and law reviews all in one search. If you type in a search term like LexisNexis, for example, you will get a results list from a variety of content types like news, legal cases, and company profiles. Also, if you want to get slightly more specific, you can use these collapsible, content-specific widgets at the bottom of the screen. If you have a legal case you want to look up, simply expand this widget and paste in your citation right here. If you want a quick company snapshot, expand this widget, type in a ticker symbol like MSFT from Microsoft, and you'll see a quick company dossier snapshot. For those more experienced users, use the Advanced Options section to help you narrow your search to retrieve only the most relevant information. Here, you can restrict by date, select a specific source if you so choose, and also see the Content Type section, which shows you all of the sources included in this combined search. If you wanted to just search for newspapers and cases only, you can simply make those selections here and apply it to your search. I'm going to do a search example, and uh, for this search, I'm going to narrow my date to the last few days until today. I'm going to limit to the New York Times. Then I'm going to use the Build Your Own Segment Search section, which will help me search in a specific segment of the document, like byline or headline. This is useful if you have a specific author in mind, or if you know the headline of the article you want to find. So I'm going to search in the headline. and use the AND connector. And then I'm going to add a byline search for a specific author. And click Apply. 
You can see here that the search terms from the build your own segment search are in the search box and the restrictions I added to the search are in the selection tray. When I click search, I'm taken directly to the article I need. Let's click the logo to go back. Besides the large combined search on the main page, Academic has other content specific search forms that will help users who are just looking for information from one particular content type. Click on the search by content type menu to use these forms. For example, if you're just searching news, visit the all news form. As you can see, the advanced options on this form change to fit the specific content type. You'll find the same thing on each of these other forms. Now that we've talked about searching, let's talk about working with your results. I'll click on one of the Hot Topics links to run a quick search. As you can see, here you have your results list of articles. Click on any of these links to be taken directly to document view. You also have your post search filtering if I wanted to see all results from a specific publication, I can click the publication name to see all of the articles from that specific publication. There are other options you can use in results list view, like deduplicate results, to give yourself a more concise results list. Turn on deduplication. And notice that duplicate articles have been consolidated into one hint. Users might also find the Google Translate option very helpful. Simply select a language from the drop down menu, like French, and see all of the articles on your results list translated into French. You can also click the show original to untranslate. These other options will help you save or deliver your documents so that you can access them at a later time. You can use this icon to print your documents, email a set of documents, save documents to your hard drive, or send them to a cloud storage solution. I'm going to actually click on a document to show more options. As you can see here, two more options are available. First, the Export Bibliographic References icon. Clicking on this icon will allow you to access the bibliographic record information in order to use the citations in your bibliography page. This icon will allow you to copy a permanent link to this document so that you can access it at a later time. Please visit our other YouTube tutorials for more information on these icons. And that's an overview of LexisNexis Academic. Please view our other YouTube tutorials for more information on the functionality you see here. Thanks for using LexisNexis Academic.